Seven years ago, I stood on this platform, hoping that the voice of a teenage girl who took a bullet in standing up for her education would be heard. On that day, countries, corporates, civil society, all of us committed to work together to see every child in school by 2030. Yet halfway to that ta target date, we are facing an education emergency. Let's remind you once again what's happening. In Afghanistan, Taliban have banned girls like Sumaya from their education. In Uganda and Pakistan, droughts and floods are ravaging homes like the ones where Vanessa and I grew up. And conflict and violence in countries like Ethiopia, Ukraine, and other countries are keeping girls like Yelizaveta out of the classroom. If you are serious about creating a safe and sustainable future for the children, then be serious about education. You have heard enough about how education transforms lives, strengthens economies, and contributes to a more peaceful world. You know every country, community, and corporation would benefit from every girl having access to safe quality and free education. And if you are still in doubt about the impact of education, go ask a girl. She will tell you what education means to her. Most of you know what exactly needs to be done. You must not make, you must not make small, stingy, and short-term pledges, but commit to uphold but commit to uphold the right to complete education and close the funding gap once and for all. You must use the power you have to take action. Allocate 20% of your budgets to education. High-income countries, increase aid, cancel debts, and set fair global tax system so that low-income countries can spend more on girls. Remove gender bias from curricula. Improve content and make schools safe for girls. And work together with those who are the closest to the challenges to transform education. Today, you have heard from Vanessa, Sumaya, and Yelizaveta they join millions of young people from around the world who have written demands in the Youth Declaration. And they stand ready to lead the way. Soon, you will hear from young leaders, Olesis and Karimot, on behalf of youth around the world. I hope in another seven years, we will speak to you again, but instead of urging you to help us, we will be cheering and celebrating the progress you have made for girls. When you leave this room today, please ask yourselves, how many more generations are you willing to sacrifice? How long will you make girls wait for what you have promised? How many more times do we have to stand on this stage to be heard? 